Last time I was heading into this room, the Temple of the Fishes. In here, we will not find many fishes, at least not yet, but we will find a pig. And his name's Chris. And of course, it has to be a punny name. Anyway, um, he's got a Game Boy camera there. That thing was weird. If anybody had that, I'm sure you'll agree with me. If you didn't, basically, it was like, as weird as WarioWare. Like, I, there's no other way to describe it. It had all these random features in it that were completely pointless. It had weird mini-games. It had scary things. Like, there was this one feature that just... I mean, like, there was this one option on the menu that was just called Run. And when you go to that, there's just this really creepy face that shows up, and then that's it. Anyway, this mini-game here, you gotta protect him from the fish... Fishes, I should say. No, they're fish. Fishes is referring to multiple kinds of d fish. Is. Fish can just be plural if it's one type of fish. And these are all the same, so it's fish. Anyway, um... Where's that one? I'm, he's gonna get hit. Yeah, he got hit. Uh, I kinda suck at this game. I'm gonna say that right now. Luckily, you can try it as many times as you need to. But it's annoying. You can just stay above and shoot them, but like with for me, that's not the easiest method. I'll, I'll try it that way, I guess. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's harder to aim this way for me because I don't have precise aiming controls. So I just sort of swim around in a circle and kill them as I pass them. It's usually fine unless I pass one up and then I can't turn around fast enough. You don't have to do it for that long, but long enough for it to be annoying. Uh, what the? Where did that one come from? I hate this minigame. If it give you rapid fire eggs, it might be a little bit easier, but like... Uh, not really. Come on. Get down here. I don't know. I This is like one... The, probably the part of the game that I suck the most at, actually. And I... It, I put it at the beginning of a segment so I could cut out... If I, I mean, I could just reload the save state and try over... from the start, like, instead of recording all the failures, but... If I make it this time, I'll keep it. You know, I, I don't want to be lying about it or anything. And I hate repeating myself when I have to redo a segment. Come on, fit. There we go. Ah! Sneaky little things. Okay, come on. Not not much longer. Let's do this. Almost. I'm getting nervous because I'm going to screw up. Ah! Ah! Come on, almost, 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 almost. Yay! The pig is safe. What's with this level in pigs? Anyway, I guess he has to go hook it up to another Game Boy to connect it to the Game Boy printer, which, like the e-reader, about three people owned. Because, I mean, honestly, it was the most pointless thing ever. Uh, I want to get a little bit more eggs here, so... Refill on those. I'm not going to bother with any more. 30 will be fine for whatever it is that I need to do. And I'll pick up more as I go along anyway. So, what else can we do here? Well, there's a lot of stuff, but I don't remember where everything is. So, let's just check out this thing. Here we have... Electric Eel's Lair. Okay. I... Okay, this is a, this is a good place to be. Because in here, we learn the final move of the level. Z launches bird, just watch her go through the water like a torpedo. Control stick to steer, and A for speed, B to cancel if it's been... Uh, whatever. I don't know why I sing these. A couple people said they like when I do, but I always do it really half-assed. Like, I don't want to be too enthusiastic about it. 
Because that would be stupid. No, I don't know. I must never show enthusiasm for any reason. Okay, what do we got in this one? I think this is the Seaweed Sanctum. Yeah. This one uh, leads to a different room if you get all the way up to the top, but there's also like a couple things in here, I think. So I guess I'll go ahead and do it. I gotta say that out of all the areas in the game, uh, Atlantis is probably the one I get lost in the most easily. Even Grunty Industries, like, and Cloud Cuckoo Land Central Chamber, they're huge, but I usually remember where I'm going. Somehow. Okay, there might just be one Jinjo in here. If that's the case, then this is a huge waste of time. I mean, I still gotta do it anyway, but... I don't know. Um... Seaweed, of course, is not an actual... threat of any sort. Where is... Okay, there's the Jinjo. And that other door, I think, just leads... Well, I'll just go in it and see where it leads. Any day now. This is Sea Bottom. Okay, I, th I thought it was called the Big Fish Cavern, because there is, in fact, a big fish in it. Uh, there's a warp pad in here, so I'll activate that so I can go back to Atlantis. Or While I'm here, I might as well do this. And there was a sea me fish in here, too. It uh, just has uh, feathers. Those like clear-colored fit or transparent fish, clear color, doesn't make sense. Come on! How am I missing so badly? You gotta blow out its teeth. And that little school of fish is getting in my way. But anyway, the sea me's, which are the transparent fish, uh, there's a bunch of them scattered throughout the level, and they are randomly holding different items, including stuff that you actually need. So you just gotta always keep an eye out for those. Sometimes they just have nests and stuff. And yes, I know I just hit myself with three grenades. I don't really care. So let's go inside the disgusting bloody fish. And yes, like... I gotta say, for an E-rated game, this is kind of pushing it. It's not, like, gory or anything, but it's disgusting. And honestly, so is this character. Um, this would be Mary Maggie, Jolly's partner. Let's... Like, I don't have to make any jokes here. You can see for yourself, it's clearly a guy in drag. And I'm walking around in nasty digested fish food here, so let's get out of that. And head over here for a Jinjo. One of the two oranges. Was er, what was that, yellow? I th oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? <sighs> now I gotta redo all that. I don't know what was up with that error, but whatever, I'm fine now. Back here, um, just want to find that warp pad or the tunnel leading out of here, wherever that might be. Seriously, where the hell is it? Okay, there it is. Uh, fast control, I can't do this. And because people requested it, I was frozen today! Yeah, I know. Whatever. Go through the tunnel. This leads to oh, the locker cavern. Okay, and up oh, there we got a empty honeycomb piece in one of the seamies. So let's grab that. Just gotta use the talon torpedo. And uh, where is the locker? I can break open. There it is. Uh, this is Davy Jones's locker. You can break it open. It didn't look like I did there, but I did somehow. All the other lockers have names of game developers on it. And uh, there's a couple things I can do in here, but not now. One of them requires the transformation for the level. 
The other one is the boss, and I always save the bosses for last, so I'm just going to head out through this exit and see where it leads. Assuming this isn't the one I came from, I don't think it is. Whatever, let's speed up, I don't have too much time left. Oh, okay, we're inside the pirate ship, which is not really an area of its own, but it, it's connected to the rest of Atlantis. A couple things I can blow up here. Here's a tunnel that leads outside of the level, and there's a crate somewhere with a Jinjo in it. Where is that thing? Oh, I guess that was it. Get it. Oh, okay, I just got both of those in a row. That was very odd. So, let's end this segment with the very odd thing. Uh, see you next time for more exploration of Atlantis and stuff.